I'm Sasha Costanzo and we're at the Hester Place Reserve for the WA Slalom K1 TV Challenge. Today we're going to see competitors from students to veteran champions compete in a canoe race that will see them paddle up and downstream through gates for the best time without incurring penalties. They will all be competing in the same qualifying round to make it to the finals regardless of their age. The race takes an average of two minutes. So what is canoe slalom? Well put simply, the aim is to navigate a kayak through a river through a course of hanging gates in the fastest time possible. There are between 18 to 25 hanging gates on a course. Most of these gates are downstream where the paddler travels through the gate towards the finish line. At least six are upstream where the paddler travels through the gate away from the finish line. <laughs> The gates have a number above them with the incorrect direction having a red line to show which way the paddler must go through. The paddler's whole head and part of his boat must go through the gates. The gates must be done in numerical order in the correct direction without touching the hanging poles. So why paddling? I don't know, it's good fun, get out in the water, keep cool. I'm just the fact it's different from everything else. I don't know, I just find it really exciting and I know it's a fun exercise. So what are your tactics when you paddle? Is it like your boat or the way you turn? Just go yeah. hard in yeah. everything. <laughs> like try and be smooth and good technique as well as like using like the, the best like stroke techniques so you can get the most out of your stroke. Time penalties are added to the competitor's time for not completing gates correctly. A 50 second penalty is given if the paddler misses a gate, does the gate out of order or crosses the gate line in the wrong direction. A 2 second penalty is awarded if the poles are touched by any part of the paddler's body, boat or paddle. Only one penalty can be awarded for each gate. About five to six gate judges are placed on the bank to award penalties to any paddlers who touch or miss gates. Start and finish judges record the times and a compiling team enters the penalties into a computer to produce the final results. Time of 113.85. Clean. And thanks very much Canoeing Down Under for all that prize support and congratulations to the ladies. Congratulations to Ben, fantastic effort, certainly showing his skills today. And once again, a fantastic gift out for canoeing down under. We'd like to thank all our volunteers today, all our timing personnel, our production crew for our fantastic television uh, challenge today, and also thank you all the paddlers. You've done a fantastic job, and let's congratulate everybody here. Thank you.